this morning I am at Lover's Leap just about 20 minutes out of Glenorchy and Candace and I are headed up to do the Earnslaw Burn Trek and camp overnight. We are super excited to get up there. It is this beautiful glacial valley and we have the perfect weather for it that we have been praying for for weeks because my time left in Southland is limited. Yeah, we just have the perfect day for it and can't wait to take you on this adventure with us. We've got a nice uphill climb to start with that is riddled with tree roots but it is it seems to be fairly manageable so far. We're definitely moving up to the section of the track where I think there's going to be um, quite a bit of windfall trees down and things but so far so good. walk through this wee creek there have been a few to walk through so far but this one is the biggest I just have to stop for a few seconds and just take it all in because you spend so much time concentrating on the track it's important for me to stop and look around and remember that I am in this beautiful forest in the middle of nowhere. We are now two and a half hours into the hike and we are glimpsing mountain peaks covered in snow through the trees. I'll try and show you in a minute when we get a bit closer, hopefully it opens out so you can see. I think we're doing okay on time, but there's no we have no way to know how far we've walked today. I didn't bring my watch because I forgot to charge it. And secondly, last time I used it to track the kilometers, it led us very far astray. And then we were very disappointed. So I wasn't gonna do that again. I have to say, there are plenty of nice, gentle spots on this track. However, there's also a lot of climbing, scrambling, lots of um, steps that are quite big for me, um, just because I'm quite short, and um, lots of places where you need to use your hands as well. But this is just a this spot is just a nice gentle reprieve from that, even if it only lasts a couple of minutes. We are officially four hours into the track and Mount Earnslaw is getting visibly closer which is very exciting. We still don't know how far away we are because it was a four to six hour estimation up to the valley um, and we're four hours in now. We have stopped to have a couple of short breaks, five to ten minutes, so I'm hoping that it's not too much further. I may have just abseiled down this rope, kind of, not really abseiling, but it helped a lot because that is a really tall rock to climb down for a small person. I can see blue sky, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. 
the guy that we just saw said that we're about half an hour mm -hmm. from the campsite and an hour to the end so we're stoked eh? yes it means that we can drop our packs off in about half an hour's time so good to be out in the open and know that we are that close to our campsite for the night and we've seen our first tent as well so it's definitely just around the corner so it has taken us about five and a half hours to get to this point which I'm really stoked with we are just looking around for a campsite and once we find that we'll pitch our tent have some snacks water drop our packs and keep heading on up the valley to have a look around and go exploring <music> We've set up our tent so we are just going to go for a walk and explore now this is just one of the most beautiful places I've ever been this this is why we go hiking. Oh my god. This place is insane and I don't think I've ever been anywhere like it in my life. Amazing view that you've ever seen. It's so good. So good. It is a beautiful morning in paradise. Um, we have our hot choppies and the sun has probably come up in the last half an hour or so and it has provided stunning views over the mountain and glacier with the skies turning a little bit pink. Our plan this morning is to have our kai, pack up the tent and head back down to the car park and we're hoping that it will be a little bit shorter going down than it was coming up um, but we will see you at the other end well we made it back to the car park and it took us about five hours to get back down um, Thank you for watching and coming along on this adventure with us. I do have a couple more walks planned before I leave Southland, so I can't wait to share those with you as well. And see you next time. Ka kite anō. Mm.